YouTube, it's Sarah. I wanted to show you guys this um, awesome jewelry case I've made for my sister. I'm going to kind of walk you through and kind of show you the details of it and then kind of explain how I did it and kind of show you some of the product, products I, I used. So this was an unfinished um, shadow box from my goals and it has the glass encasing right there. Um, I used this really funky leopard print. It all came from the Sugar Chic line paper pack. Sorry, I jumbled my words. Uh, you can kind of see it's got some sparkle right there. Um, it turned out so cute. I'm so happy. And then on the inside I used, well you can see like the back the back of the front frame is finished in the same paper and I have the gold embellishment. Um, the inside wall and the sides, you can see it, and the back as well, are done in this raspberry color. I used gold tones again for the rods, um, the backing for the rods. I used a bow to just kind of um, switch it up a little bit and then this white um, stud pillow. So and this floral was so pretty. I was so excited to use this paper collection. And it kind of has like this antique finish. You can see that. Let's see. You guys can see that crackled antique finish. I love it. Turn out so pretty. Again, little gold feet to kind of just finish it off and make it look just super cute. Gold accessories. This is inspired by Betsy Johnson. That's my sister's favorite designer in the whole entire world. So I definitely was super excited to get this started. Let me just kind of give you guys again the full view so you guys can see. Let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so you guys can see the little gold feet. It actually hangs on the wall, so it's meant to be a hanging fixture. Oh, sorry guys, kind of shaky. Um, so let me just kind of walk you through it. So like I said, let me put this down for a second. Oh, look at my husband's wonderful safe, right? I'm sure that, okay, so let's see. All right, so like I said, the paper, the two papers I used, the leopard print and the floral print came from the Hide Swap Sugar Sugar Chic, and this is what the paper pack. Let me get this back a little. This is what the paper pack looks like. Oh my gosh, it's like totally not fitting in frame. Let me see if I can. Okay, that's what it looks like, and it's this really funky paper pack that I've been looking at for quite some time. Now let me give you guys kind of a close up of each sheet. So you can see, like, they have some really cool florals, solids, and prints, and I'm just super, I was so super excited to finally get it and use it. I've been eyeing it for probably a month now. Um, it was $19.99, I got it 50% off using some Michael's coupons. The box itself, like I said, was an unfinished um, shadow box. It was the 11 by 14 and that was... I think that one was like 18 bucks. I got it for 9 So I got everything really inexpensive um, using coupons. Um, the, let's see, I want to kind of show you guys. So, okay, first off, this raspberry color, I actually mixed two paints. Um, let's see. They were folk art paints, both of them. One was lipstick red. So you can see lipstick red. Oh, will not focus. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, this one's lipstick red, and this one is baby pink. And I mixed the two together to get that really cool raspberry color that you see here. And then I finished everything off with Mod Podge to give it that gloss. I just used the Mod Podge Gloss Luster. Um... So for the inside, just kind of prop this up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, um, 
as you can kind of see the two bottom portions the rods themselves that are going to be used hopefully to hang you know dangle the earrings a watch bracelet was actually just a dowel cap the little the wooden dowel caps these ones were the one inch dowel caps dowel caps and then I used a 3 8 dowel and I spray painted them both gold and then I took let me open this up so you guys can kind of see better and then just for a change in texture I took this sheer ribbon it's a half inch ivory sheer ribbon and I just tied these little bows in I did that for both rod and then let's see here and then for the pillow I actually took um, just some white fabric I had and I sealed it and stuffed it to make it um, to make it kind of full up out and it's it's just like a little stud pillow and I used it came in a pack of two and it was let me put this down and it was it came with this one and it came with this one and it was in the dollar bin I actually used this particular one and I stamped it with Craft Smart pigment, pigment ink in gold, and then the washable ink in black. And those are both Craft Smart. Um, the last little detail, which I thought just totally made it look amazing, was let me just kind of show you this the gold pearl accent. I literally just took this gold or gold this um, flat back pearl strand and I probably used about a yard and a half total and I spray painted that gold and then I put it around the outside so as you can see I did it on the inside and the outside turned out so good you guys I'm so excited so let me give you again like a little a view of it oh sorry so it turned out so amazing I can't wait to give it to my sister for her birthday and thanks for watching bye